Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here with patbangers.com. Welcome to a new episode. Today, it's not really a gear check, it's not really a sound check, it's kind of a special episode. Um, because recently I solved a huge and annoying problem in my studio, which are interferences in my speakers. Um, I used to have the Scarlett 18i20 first generation, and with this interface I had no problems at all, but these interferences are really a bitch and sometimes changing one piece of equipment can cause them to appear, become audible. And in this case, I was replacing my old first generation Scarlett with the second generation Scarlett 18i20 and suddenly I had a lot of interferences in my speakers. If you don't know what interferences are, it's a lot of noise, crackling, even when you move your mouse on the computer. Um, you can hear that in the speakers and um, to give you a better idea I made a short video and uh, here have a listen it's super annoying Okay, so this was the situation and uh, there are a lot of things you can do to solve this problem. Uh, sometimes all you need to do is take your um, power cord of a device and turn 180 degrees in the outlet and it solved the problem. Sometimes putting different devices to different outlets in the studio depending on the circuit in your room can solve the problem. None of this did it for me. Um, another friend mentioned a DI box that I should put between my interface and the speakers and I made it a little bit better but it was still there and audible. Um, so this was the first thing I tried and then I said okay all this doesn't work so I need to isolate the problem in the studio and need to figure that out which device is causing it. So I disconnected everything and I put it in one after another to find the problematic sources and if I hook up single devices to the USB ports on the computer and power them on and stuff like that all worked fine. So then I was pretty sure it's because of the USB hubs and I plugged everything back into the hubs connected them to the computer and voila there are my interferences. So the next thing I did was um, I said okay if these hubs are problematic let me just buy another USB hub. So I bought other USB hubs, but same problem, didn't solve it. Then I thought maybe it's the power supplies. This stuff comes from China, maybe these are weak power supplies. So I bought really expensive power supplies, really good quality power supplies for them. Nothing changed, still there. And I was about to give it up because um, I couldn't find a solution and I spent so much time on this. And then a friend who's working as a system ad administrator in a software company says, hey, I know exactly your problem. Uh, get a USB isolator. So I did a research and I found this company in Denmark. I hope I pronounce it right. They're called Helmslund. It's a Danish company and they build USB isolators for probably like the networking stuff, um, not especially for audio purposes, but I shoot them a message and I describe my problem and I ask them if their isolator would solve my problem. And they immediately respond and said, yes, we're pretty sure it will solve your problem. And um, so the site is samsung.dk. I will put a link to the description. And when you look on the site, they have a lot of adapters, but they're specialized in USB isolators and RS-232 and RS-485 converters and stuff like that. So a lot of networking stuff. And on the bottom of the start page, you will find the USB isolator series. These are definitely not cheap. Um, one device is... 60 euro plus 12 euro of shipping to Germany. So in US dollars, it would probably be around $80, something like that. Um, so definitely not cheap, but I got them and I installed them and everything is quite now, as you can hear. I'm running all my gear at the moment and you don't hear any noise at all. Even if I use the microphone and put it right in front of the speakers, 
you don't hear anything. The only noise in here is my video lamps. And but that's it. Even if I crack it up all the way, you can hear a little bit of noise. But um, if I would keep my interface in this setting, I would just blow up my speakers. So in a normal, in a norm on a normal listening level, everything is super quiet now. Um, so this is how they look like. They come in this little plastic box. And they just look like an older thumb drive or USB stick, large USB stick. And in the end, you just plug in your device or your hub or whatever it is. And the other side goes to your computer and this solves the problem. Um, one thing to mention here is these are USB 2.0 only. So if you put them between an um, external hard drive, which is USB 3 and then to your computer, it will slow down your data connection. You should keep that in mind. But on the other side, I think it's still better to have a slow running external hard disk than to have this annoying noises in your speakers, right? That's all I can say. It just, you just take this thing, plug and play, no drivers needed. You just plug it into your computer and you're good to go. And as I said, this, these things really, really work. So for me, they're definitely worth all the money. Again, they're not cheap, but it solves the problem. And I finally have silence in here. I can mix better. I don't have annoying noises in my speakers. So thumbs up, I highly recommend it. And I know a lot of you guys have problems with interferences. So check these out. They really work and they made my music experience in this room a lot better. So yeah, that's it for this time. A lot of talking, but there's actually not much I can show you guys. Um, so I hope you liked the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, help them solve their problems with interferences. If you have other tips to solve the problem, shoot me some comments. I'm really interested how you solve the problem or if you're still annoyed by the sound in your speakers and you consider buying one of these. Um, just let me know as usual. Hope to see you guys next time. MikePatBangers.com. Peace out. Thank you.